Hello and welcome to the 23rd PHP tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to be covering uh, in a little bit more depth string manipulation. So with that let's hop right on into it. String manipulation is pretty useful uh, for a whole lot of different applications. And the first thing I really would like to show you is a scenario where you do want to use double quotes versus single quotes where it really will matter and make your life a little bit easier and really your code easier to read because at the end of the day that that matters a lot as well so sometimes it's a toss-up but so let's just make an example string and we're just gonna say uh, hey there buddy is our sample string what you can do is if you let's just echo out something um, if you echo out in single quotes um, string and then um, how are you right if you do this it's literally gonna echo out dollar sign string how are you in fact let's go ahead and put that up just to show you what's happening there so we'll refresh and it literally says string how are you but what happens if we encase this in double quotes as you can see it's already begun to bold dollar sign string so when we save this and refresh now it actually says, hey there buddy, how are you? And it's starting to act a little bit like we would expect it to act uh, normally without using the uh, full stop that we had done before. Because I mean, you can also do the full stop where it's like this. Put that up and you get exactly the exact same string. Um, but when you're like zooming through code and stuff and you're like, maybe you're looking for um, you know this specific string sometimes it can be easier to both code it and read you know what's exactly happening by doing it this way so uh, next up what we want to do is we'll leave this string here but I'm going to show you guys you know something that people typically are going to want to do is split up strings um, by a specific string there's other ways you can split up strings by like word and all this kind of stuff but you can also just learn one way to split up strings and use it on every application you know that you might want to use it for so doing this is actually really simple uh, with a while loop and then also um, you'll just need to specify uh, the token so to do that let's just call literally a variable token say token is equal to and the way you uh, call this is strtok str string token um, and then within here, you want to, the first parameter is what you want um, to apply this to. So in this case, we want to do this to string. And then the second case is what do you want the um, token to be? And um, a good way to think of it is if you ever, if you're from coming from Python or another language, it's really what you're going to split by. So let's say you, you want to tokenize by uh, the space. So... Uh, we'll just tokenize by a space and that's it. So now if all we do is just print out a uh, token, so let's just echo token, save that, and come over, what we get so far is just hey. We don't get the full, like everything split, we just only get the first one. So naturally we need a while loop <clears throat> and we're going to just loop through this. So we're going to say while uh, token doesn't equal false. Now um, what token is going to can return is a false. So if there's no nothing left for it to uh, tokenize, then it will return a false uh, boolean. So what's happening is it, what it's doing is it's like it's tokenizing by this a single time. So what you want to do is just say while it doesn't equal false, so you can make it dynamic here. Now we want to uh, add what we want to do. So let's go ahead and echo. Um, let's echo that actual token. As you can see, we're going to put this within double quotes um, so it uh, acts as a variable. And then we're going to go ahead and break double quote. Um, and then we're going to want to uh, rename the token. So we're going to do token equals string token and then space, space. 
So what this will do is loop through, and for every, um, well, in our case, it's going to be every word since we're going to split by this space, and then it's going to it's going to echo out the word, split by space, echo out the word, split by space. So uh, let's go ahead and run this. Hopefully, we don't have any typos. And sure enough, we get hey there, buddy. So that's just a way you could split by space. But you, of course you could split by anything else you wanted. You could split by uh, E, for example. So let's change this to a letter E and change uh, this to a letter E. Save it. Come over here. Refresh. <clears throat> and now you've got, hey, there, buddy. <laughs> so anyway, what you're going to split by ends up being lost, much like um, in Python when you do a split by string variable. So... This is a good way to uh, split by any method you might want. Now there's a couple of other things um, that we're going to run through real quick with uh, string manipulation and that's going to be um, string length. One of the things that you might want to do, like say you have like a comment box and you uh, want to limit you know how many comment or how many like lines of text you'll store or something like that. Um, it could be useful to know how many uh, characters or even how many words are in there. So the next thing you might want to do is utilize uh, string length, and that's just uh, str len. So let's show you that. Um, we'll just call this string len. Sorry, we need a dollar sign. Equals uh, str len, and then in parentheses you just say what you want to know what the string length is of. So in this case, we want to know it for string, um, just our string variable. And then let's go ahead and echo out string length. We'll save that. Pop over here. And as you can see, it's 15. So it's literally 15 characters. So those are just a few different uh, ways you can work with strings. Um, as always, thank you for watching and stay tuned to the next video. We'll be talking about even more ways and things that we can do with strings.